Welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, we made it here to the Redhorn Loads. We did a bunch of quests, and I ran out of quests to do. But that's only because I was missing this one. It was on my tracker. It just disappeared because I had pick up, picked up so many other quests. So let's go do this one, and it should vector off into a bunch more quests down here. So let's go. So this is to find the dwarves that headed east. And in fact, we've already found their camp and done a few quests for them. But I guess we just forgot to do the primary part of that quest, so let's go. We can do it. It's an interesting area. I like the dynamic here between the White Hand Orcs and the Moria Orcs, and they each have their own thing going on, or they're competing for territory and dominance here. Dwarves trying to exploit it. Lots of fun. So there is a puzzle locket here on a dead dwarf. Here lies Coffley, and is that a necklace clutched in his hand? Well, let's avenge him. Let's avenge him. We don't have to, but we will. Let me go ahead and pick up the locket. Clutched in the dwarf's cold, rigid hand is a beautifully hand carved locket. After fiddling with it, you have come to realize that it is not a normal locket and will not easily open. It should be taken to this fallen dwarf's companion, who probably kept going without him and should be somewhere to the east. Alright, and now we can head to that camp with Nock, which we were at earlier. The one that's a little difficult to get to, but I guess we can come up this ramp. And there we go. And now we should be able to use this goat freely between the 21st hall and and this camp here. We will reclaim Kazadum for dying Ironfoot! Coughley and I tried to sneak past the orcs, and we almost made it here. I think it was that necklace he was holding that gave him away. It was pretty shiny. I told him when we left the Fellowship's camp that he should hide it in a pocket or something, but he refused, thinking something would snatch it from him while his hand was not on it. I cannot believe he lost his life for that thing. If only the elves were not so stiff-necked, we might make a swift victory of this endeavor. While I'm figuring out this locket, I could use your help with something. I was scouting the area on this elevated walkway, being careful to stay out of sight, and saw an odd shadow moving about down below. It moved like a large spider, but I can't be certain what it was. Its shape wasn't like other spiders around here. Could you find out what it was? I got shivers when I saw it crawling about, and I've had nightmares ever since. If you could find more than one, can you make sure that they don't get close enough to find me here? I need to concentrate on the locket. All right, so let's go investigate. I'll take the stairs down. So I need to kill some spiders down here. And there they are. It looks like there's also going to be a separate quest for them. The fungal spiders are spreading spores from their mutations. The fungus growing on them seems to have a twist seems to have twisted these spiders into something quite different. It would be good to collect a few samples and bring them back to Nock for further study. Didn't even see that one behind that cloud of noxious fumes. Right, let me see if I can find some more around here. There's plenty of them. Let's see about blasting this one. I 
And I should only need one more. Well, actually, I need two more because I need to collect some fungus samples still. Well, that's annoying. I guess that first spider never gave me a sample. And neither did the one before that. I didn't even notice. So I gotta keep killing them still. There we go. Now we're set. Go speak with Nock. Look how epic that all looks in the distance. All these structures cropping up the mountain, basically. Actually, I don't think that's how that works mechanically, but whatever. Let's turn these in. Durin's folk will defy Durin's bane! You tell Nock that it seems like some kind of fungus is spreading and infecting the Eastern Redhorn. The ollie shaped creature I spotted was an infected spider? You say even the ground is infected in that area? What are we dealing with? This is troubling indeed. Stay a moment! We will need your aid against the Orcs of Moria. After you push back the spiders near the end of the path down to the infected area, I scouted the ground down there. Did you notice the surface is being corrupted and transformed into a lichen-like crust on the dirt floor? I have never seen anything like it. These mushrooms seem to be involved somehow. Head back down there and destroy a few of them, and we'll see if the removal can allow for the area to recover to its former state. We will reclaim Casa Doom for dying Ironfoot! I've made progress on this locket's puzzle, but I need to put it down and could use a distraction. Whoa, this sample you brought me is unlike anything I've seen before. It's an aggressively growing fungus. I swear this stuff could probably grow on anything. After seeing what this can do, I'm worried about my health by handling it, and will dispose of what you brought me. Be careful going back there and spending much time around this stuff. Alright, so let's go destroy some of the mushrooms down there. And I got some Lotro points for completing deeds. Excellent. Alright, so let's blast all these fungus here. And I think I saw an orc walking away with a quest ring above his head. Sure enough. Probably gonna have to kill a few of those. Perfect. The orcs that wandered into the infected area seem to have radically changed. These were Moria and Whitehand orcs, and now they are some form of fungal orc. What form of fungus could change their body and behavior so drastically and so quickly? So only one of those counted. And look at this thing, the twisted one. Interesting. Let me kill him and see if there's anything. I might get a quest to come kill him later, but I can always repeat it. Yeah, I didn't get credit for doing anything to that guy. That's alright. Kill this one, might as well. He attacked me. He got 10k HP though. What is that thing? Cossack. Let me go kill him. He looks interesting. You know who he looks like? He looks like um, Lisa from Resident Evil 1. If you know what I'm talking about. I did a let's play of that game. A 100% let's play of it on my channel. So if you're interested, you can check that out under my playlists. 
But yeah, doesn't he look like Lisa? He certainly does. There we go. And I got some mail. So somebody sent me an item. From Blogo. Good luck. Sweet. I think that is one of my kinsmate. I don't know if he knows about this series or not, but... He sends me messages from time to time asking if I could use some items. So he's very helpful. Pick up a few more mushrooms here. Only need one more. Alright, let's go turn in these two quests. You know, I wonder if sometimes my kinsmate are trying to talk to me. Because I never really have my kin chat on. Nope, not trying to go down there. See, I got distracted reading the chat and I... That's why I never have it open. But anyways. Durin's folk will defy Durin's bane! They were once Moria and Whitehand orcs. The infection created a new form of orc with new behaviors and are unfriendly to their previous tribes. How curious and frightening. They have the same mutation as the spiders. There must be a guiding hand to this infestation. It's working too well to be simple coincidence. Azog's folk have not yet fully repaid for their crimes against us. I think I'm almost done figuring out the puzzle in those lockets. You explain how the mushrooms were spewing spores at an alarming rate and destroying the fungus did not affect the lichen-covered areas. Those mushrooms have never grown here and they came so quickly. It shows signs of tending from a gentle hand and it looks like something helped bring it here. Our only hope is that by removing the mushrooms, the spreading will stop. Stay a moment. We'll need your aid against the orcs of Moria. The growth we see running rampant in the Redhorn Lodes has been present in the foundations of stone for some times, but has never been seen here before. But something has changed, and it seems as if something has brought it here and is helping it grow. I need you to help find the reason why it's spreading here. If we can remove that which helps grow here, perhaps it will recede and stay where it came from. So I'm sure it's that very strange enemy that I killed a little bit earlier on. Cause a doom belongs to Durin's folk! The spiders and orcs corrupted by the infesting fungus seem to change behavior once turned. One would expect them to act chaotic and attack anything around them, even turn on each other in their confusion. However, once infected, they seem to simply change allegiance, as if something immediately begin, begin following new orders. Is something controlling them once they turn? Please explore the affected area and see if you can find a leader among the newly infected spiders and orcs. So I guess that Lisa looking orc is probably going to be the leader, but I didn't see a spider looking one. Man, I've been recording too many episodes in a row. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. My throat's feeling a little sore from all the speaking. It'll probably help for me to get a drink. Let me come up here to the north. Oh, look at that mutated spider. Akas. That is a sweet looking spider. Not gonna lie. Let me go ahead and do an ambush. So it is calling for some backup here. You found what is controlling the infected spiders and it is defeated. Keep moving here. The source of the wildly growing mushrooms is a terror from the deep within the foundations of stone. <laughs> so the foundations of stone is another area in Moria that we will be heading to at some point.
There you go. The agent of corruption has been defeated. Twice now. And then finally, let's go kill that Lisa-looking orc one more time. There it is. Excellent. You found what is controlling the infected orcs, and it is defeated. Alright, let's go turn these in real quick. Actually, I think I have to go around. The stupid Zimark mob keeps attacking me. He's such a douche. I keep running into him. Claim Kazadum for dying Ironfoot! You found it. The one who helped to corrupt such a large area of the Redhorn? I knew there was a sinister hand behind it. The one who did it was a faceless creature? You are far more brave than I, as even your description of it would give me nightmares for weeks, months perhaps. You have my thanks for saving the Redhorn loads, a jewel of Moria. The Orcs of Moria have much to account for! It didn't take long for the organizers of this corruption to convert enough creatures for a small army. The fungus seems symbolic in nature. It somehow allowed the leaders you killed to control them. This infecting fungus is extremely dangerous. I hope that's the last that we see of those horrors that came out of the Foundations of Stone. Let's do that. If only the elves were not so stiff-necked, we might make a swift victory of this endeavor. While you have been busy with the corruption to the east, I have spent time figuring out the locket, and I think I have it. It is a curious puzzle, and I have never seen or heard anything like this. I am surely curious as to what is inside. The locket has sides that pop out when rubbed and pressed in a certain way. I'm holding it open, but if I let go, I may have to start over. And it took a while to find us the levers open. With a little help, I may be able to pop this open. Could you do me a favor and grab my tools from that crate over there? <laughs> Durin's folk will defy Durin's bane! Aha, that did the trick and I finally got it open. What an interesting locket Coughley held on to. There are two inscriptions inside. One in Kuzdul and the other I cannot make out. It is much older than anything I have seen in some form of ancient runic. The new inscription is written to Coughley from his love, Fina. Frostbeard. Fina is one of the premier carvers back home. She was Coughly's sweetheart, and their betrothal was made formal only shortly before they joined this expedition. We will not retreat before anyone! This will not be easy news to deliver to Coughly's next of kin. His cousin Cooley is the only member of Coughly's family that I can think who came with us into the mines. You will likely find him to the southwest searching the long lost riches and ore deposits. He may also be able to make out what this ancient text says inside the locket. Here, take my goat. He can easily and safely take you to Cooley's camp in the north in the southern Redhorn Loads. Alright. So let's go. Let's take the goat there. And let me open up my map here. So I'm all the way down here now, looks like. And this will take me to the flaming deeps, and then the foundations of stone is down towards where all the corruption was spreading from. So there's a few other vectors and other locations. We will reclaim Kazadum for Dine Ironfoot. Coughley's dead? Alas, that is a tragedy beyond bearing. He was a friend to many. Reliable, kind, it will not be easy to spread the sad news. We will send our condolences to Fina. Can I see that locket, which you said may have led to his death? Ah, you and Nakar right. There are ancient runes inscribed in here. It describes a dwarf mining company of old who found the original deposits of Mithril. It says the mining company had a structure somewhere around here, but could it still exist? At long last, we will drive the maggot folk from our halls! 
Kippen, Coughley's passing is a cause of great grief. I can think of only one way to properly celebrate his life and death in the correct accordance with our most ancient and venerable dwarf traditions. Coughley was friends with many on this expedition, and they are stationed from Holland Gate to the ruins of the Bridge of Khazad Doom. Will you honor Coughley's memory with them by offering a good ale with each of them, where they are staying at the most and major encampments of my people throughout the mines? I could do that. So let's go ahead and drink over here. It's a good old coffee. At long last, we will drive the maggot boat from our halls. Before I pick up this quest, let me go ahead. Oh, well, actually, this is going to be in the Flaming Deep, so I can't go there just yet. My hobbit just passed out. My god. That's not good. Oh, well, I'm at the Flaming Deeps. I wasn't supposed to be here yet, but here I am. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to pick up any quests here or anything like that. We're just going to go ahead and drink to our dwarf friend. So maybe this quest just transports you from location to location. There we go. Yeah, see, so in a few seconds, I'm going to pass out and wake up somewhere else. So next, I'm headed to the rotting cellar, it looks like. Is this going to transport me? Yeah, I think so. There we go. All right, so we are at the rotting cellar. Go ahead and drink to coffee. I don't know why this guy has a quest ring on him. Great lizard is dead. Thanks to you, I will remember your courage. Maybe I should speak with them before I drink, because they might have something interesting to say. I didn't realize, sorry. But I'll do that from now on. So next we're going to the Chamber of the Crossroads. Should wake up there momentarily. Alright, let me see if I can find the brew. There it is up here, so let me speak with this fine dwarf. Let us all salute Coughly to the memory of the bravest dwarf I know. Nice. So next up, I'm headed to the Shadowed Refuge. That's going to be a new location as well. We haven't made it over there. So you'll get a little sneak peek, but hopefully I won't spoil too much. That's over at the Foundations of Stone. And I should wake up there momentarily. Here we go. Nice. I'll go ahead and open the stable here, because why Welcome not? Welcome to Casa Doom. All right, let me see if I can find the drink here. Maybe back here in that corner. There we go. See, there's a ton of quest rings over here, so. Doesn't look like there's a dwarf for me to speak with around here. So I'll just go ahead and drink and wake up somewhere else. Dolven View is next. So I enjoyed the little sneak peek here into this area. I guess this quest gives you a preview of how much content there's still left to do here within the Mines of Moria. Right, back at the Dovin view. And remember, these two quests here are repeatable. That's why there's a quest ring on my map. All right. Let us drink again to Coughley's memory. And 
next up we are headed to the deep descent it's very convenient that i wake up where i need to be and not somewhere else imagine doing this quest and taking a swig of the ale and waking up in freaking arket or comb or in Thorin's Hall, or something ridiculous like that. Alright, let me see. I'm thinking it'll probably be down here. There it is. Dark things dwell now in Moria. Coughley's passing will be long mourned, and his life story sung until I too pass, or my beard may be cut from my face. So the 21st hall is next, that makes sense. It's a pretty big milestone here. My hobbit is completely passing out here. He's super drunk, man. All right. And it might be hard to find the ale here. With my screen all blurred. And lots of items that I can interact with. So my delete keys are very... Oh, there it is. Here I am talking about how hard it was going to be to find this. And it's literally right in front of me. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. Poor Finna. I pity the messenger who delivers this news. I don't suppose you're going to the Lonely Mountain? No. That would have been too easy, I suppose. Oh, well. Too coffly. Let us hoist a tankard in his memory. Actually, speaking of the Lonely Mountain, the developer letter for 2018, they mentioned that they're hoping to develop that region of the game, so we may get to go to the Lonely Mountain sooner than you think. That'll be very exciting. Alright, so we are headed back to... To Cooley, and hopefully I wake up next to him and don't have to actually manually go there. Here we go. Should be the last drunken trip I take. Excellent. Went on a world tour of Moria here and back to where I started the whole thing. The Orcs of Moria have much to account for. You did not know him as long as we, but you proved yourself a stout-hearted friend to Coughley. It will, through the noble actions of people like yourself, willing to both fight the fight for the future and respect the traditions of the past, that the glory of Khazad-dûm will once more be sung throughout the world. Perfect. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually give my hobbit here a chance to sober up, and then we will continue with the adventure in the next episode. I hope you're enjoying the series. Be sure to leave a like on the video. If you're not already a part of the fellowship, be sure to join by hitting the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.